these little bitty countries that we are. With my own personal understanding of my history, I do know, coming from Southern Africa, I am from some very powerful kingdoms. That was before Rhodesia. That was before South Africa. We were powerful kingdoms. That's who they knew us to be. When did we become these little bitty countries? Thanks to the Berlin Conference. You see, the colonizers had been coming to Africa for over 700 years. Starting with 300 years of the Portuguese. Followed by 400 years of the other colonizers. They were coming into Africa in a very haphazard way. We heard about this amazing continent with everything that we need and everybody is packing their bags and running to Africa. So you see Mr. Frenchman over here. He stole from the Africans. Then here comes Mr. British over here. He now starts stealing from the Frenchmen what the French have stolen from the Africans. And before you know it, here is Belgium. Now stealing from the British what they have stolen from the French. The French have stolen from them. Before you know it, they are fighting each other. Fighting over how to distribute the loot from the Africans. So pretty soon they were getting ready to have an Af a European war on the African soil. The then Chancellor of Germany, Bismarck realizing they are getting ready to have a European war on the African soul, called his sidekick, who by then was having havoc in the Congo, King Leopold. He said, let's bring all colonizers together. Let's meet in Berlin, Germany. Let's organize ourselves so we can effectively loot from these monkeys. Yes. Yes. So it was in 1884, from November, to 1885 in February, they met in Berlin, the colonizers, not to see to it that Africa prospered. They met in Berlin to organize themselves so they could effectively loot from the Africans. They also met for another reason. They also met to organize themselves so they can make sure that Africa and her children are forever defeated and dominated. 135 years later, 2019, nothing has changed. Berlin Conference gave us countries like Gambia, Djibouti, Burundi, Central African Republic, Togo, Lesotho, Iswatini. The list goes on. As a matter of fact, all African countries. And they did one more thing. They took all these little bitty countries. They, 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 they had this great big old map of Africa across from them, strategizing. The more powerful the kingdoms were, the more they got along together, the more countries that came out of there. And the more languages that came out of there. Picture yourself driving from Zambia. You're speaking English. And pretty soon you are in Angola. You're speaking Portuguese. And pretty soon you are in DRC. You're speaking French. Pretty soon you are in Equatorial Guinea. You are speaking Spanish. Pretty soon you are in Cameroon. You are back. English. Northern Cameroon. French. Pretty soon you are in Nigeria. English. Who does that? <laughs> this was all by design to cause maximum destruction of a people. Give it a generation. The people who used to be one will not even know that they were related. History tells us that a husband and wife went to bed in Zambia. When they woke up, the wife was in Zambia and the husband was in Malawi. That's how arbitrary the divisions were. The divisions were done in Berlin. While the Africans were on the continent minding their own business. All to see to it that Africa and her children are forever defeated and dominated.